let's talk about stitching darts on the Arcadia. Right here we have piece B1. Here it is from the right side and the dart is already cut out. Before we go to stitch the darts, we'll want to draw our stitch line. I feel like this is really important on the cutaway darts because that way you know exactly where the point is. And make sure your ruler is lined up exactly three eighths of an inch along the cutaway. And then you can draw your stitch line on both sides of the dart, three eighths of an inch. Okay. All right, now that we've drawn our stitch line on both sides of the dart, we also know where the point is of the dart. So we're gonna be aiming for that point. Ignore that errant point over there. Um, we are aiming for this blue one. Okay. Once you've drawn your stitch lines, you can fold the dart in half and line up those raw edges. And so you can find your point, my little blue points here, and pinch it and then just right along those raw edges, start clipping it in place. I like, I'm gonna be using clips just because um, I find that on knit fabric like this, my straight pins tend to pull and cause my fabric to be misshapen on something as small and intricate as a dart. So now that we've had it clipped, we're gonna use our stitch line as a guide. Oh, and there will be a little dog ear sticking out right there. You can see that my stitch line comes to right where the two pieces of fabric meet each other. We'll start stitching on the outer edge and back stitch to lock in our stitch. And then we'll stitch all along this line all the way to the dot. And when we get to the dot, we're going to actually get as close to the fold of the fabric as possible before coming off at the dot. And we're gonna stitch about two stitches right as close to that edge as possible before coming off. We just wanna make our departure from the fabric as gradual as possible, and that will help result in a less pointy dart. All right. So stitch on, I'm using a straight stitch at stitch length 2.0. That's slightly shorter than my usual stitch length. I'm just double checking that the dot is right at the fold there. I'm keeping my finger on that dot to keep it folded in place and to keep an eye out on when I'm getting close to it. So now I'm moving as close to the edge very slowly as possible. One, and stitch off. I did a couple of stitches off of the fabric, a couple of extra air stitches, and then pulled the thread tails along. And instead of back stitching, we will tie some knots so off the fabric again in order to lock these stitches. And then after you've tied about three knots, maybe four, you can trim those a little shorter. Okay. And here is how it looks on the inside. We can now cut open the dart the rest of the way, close to that tip point as possible. Okay. And then iron the dart open and that will help make it nice and flat on the inside. And it will look like this on the inside. And on the outside, it will look like this. Can't even hardly tell it's there. But you'll have a nice shape on the bust area of your top. And that is how you stitch a cutaway dart.